Hi guys, after having tested the pipes on my portative organ for several months, I can give you, with certainty of success, the detailed measurements. For those wishing to see the extraction, I refer to this video. Ok, let's go! Ok, some of the measures always repeat the same, like this inner part of the cup, the thickness, the height, the depth of internal milling of the cup. The depth of the throat also does not change. The top of the block and the total height are the same for all pipes. The 8 degree inclination is also good for all pipes. Ok, before seeing the internal block in detail, I will explain the table with the measures. The first tab is the note corresponding to the pipe. The second tab is the pitch, that is the frequency corresponding to the note of the pipe. This parameter can change according to the tuning you make and the tuning fork you choose. The third tab, T, is the thickness of the pipe walls, as indicated here. The fourth tab is the wind sheet of the pipe, as indicated in the drawing. The fifth tab is the height of the mouth. The sixth is the hole in the foot, and refers to the smaller hole, not the flare. The seventh tab is the internal width of the pipe. The eighth tap is the internal depth of the pipe. And the last tap refers to the internal length of the pipe, a length that goes from the mouth to the end, therefore without counting the block. Here, returning to the block, obviously, if some measures remain unchanged, the width and the depth change. Here are two examples the block of a larger pipe with a hole at the foot of 12 mm and that of a smaller pipe with a hole at the foot of 7 mm. An advice on the height of the mouth. I suggest you start from a slightly lower value and possibly rise it during the intonation. Another note, the length shown here is abundant. This allows you to have margin when tuning. Ok, if I was useful, please support me to subscribing to the channel. See you next time. Bye!